We are running. Man plans, God laughs. You won't always have all the answers. The consequences of a misguided decision are insignificant in the cosmos of eternity. Never ever second guess yourself. Tough times don't last, tough people do. Don't waste time on things you can't change. Plan for success with no backup plans, no rip cords, no fail safes, or you will fail. There's a big difference between playing to win and playing not to lose. Become more disciplined. The pain of discipline hurts less than the pain of regret. The only difference between a chump and a champ is you. I've never seen a part-time, super successful, high-performance person. The difference between a failure and a high-performance individual is how each deals with fear. We are all afraid. A high-performance person uses his fear to galvanize his actions. Ignorance is a steep hill with jagged rocks at the bottom. During quantum growth, any problem you solve will be replaced immediately by a larger, more complicated problem. Only take seriously the advice of others whom you greatly respect. Cash only prolongs death, it doesn't avoid it. It was hard when just over three years ago, in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan, where I was operating my business, and I fell on some hard times, and I was sleeping in my office. It was hard coming into the lobby and the security said, excuse me, Mr. Brown, can we see you for a moment? And I said, yes. And I walked up to the counter and he gave me an envelope. And he said, would you mind reading it here? And I opened the envelope and the envelope was from management that said, this is an office tower. It's not a hotel. Please do not sleep in your office. And I said, excuse me, sir. I said, I just work long hours in creating my business. I'm an entrepreneur. And right now things are bad for me, but they're not going to be this way always. And I just asked for the opportunity to continue to operate like I'm doing. I'm not trying to make this my home. And it was hard coming through the lobby. And sometimes they would laugh. There's a guy talking about becoming successful and look at him. He's bathing in the bathroom upstairs on the 21st floor. He sleeps on the floor. Him and two other dreamers up there. Look at him. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen, coming to speak to people. And I was facing financial difficulties in my own life. I was behind on my bills and my dreams. And I'm saying to them, you can live your dream. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen. It was very difficult to pick myself up each day believing that I could do it. There were times that I doubted myself. I said, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal a rock from anybody. Why did this have to happen to me? It was very hard. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on, by continuing to push forward, by continuing to run toward my dream, that one day I would have my own talk show. It's a long shot, ladies and gentlemen, from Liberty City, an abandoned building on a floor, never knowing my mother or father. It's a long shot being here with you today in this dome in Atlanta. It's a long shot. No college training, labeled, educable, mentally retarded. But I kept running toward my dream. Don't stop. I want you to increase your compassion. I want you to take them on as your responsibility. I want you to commit to do something that impacts their life and changes their world. I want you to trust me and own what you have. Stop complaining. Stop finding excuses. Take what you have and watch what God can do with it. The most difficult choice you'll ever make is to trust Jesus with everything you are, to give him all of you. And trust that when he gives you back to yourself. See, that's why Jesus says, unless you lose your life, 
will never find it. Let me tell you, it is true. What you give away, it's as if the universe will give it to you multiple times over again. That's why even people who don't believe in God talk about the universe bringing to you more. It's because we don't understand that the creation is only acting on behalf of the Creator.